Kim and welcome back to my channel at Lady. So today's video is going to be a review of one of my favorite jewelry brands and that's Ana Luisa. I just ordered some new earrings and so I thought I would gather up my whole collection of Ana Luisa pieces and give you all a review and show you some examples of like the different styles and types of jewelry they offer. And this video is not sponsored, but I have previously worked with Ana Luisa for their holiday campaign last Christmas time, where they gifted me uh, this necklace and the matching earrings to review. But all of the other pieces I have purchased with my own money because I definitely thought that they were worth it. So the first piece, my newest piece to my collection that came in the new box before they were coming in the bags, which I will miss the little bag pouches. I have quite a collection of them and they're so great for packing, but the box is really cute. It slides up. I just love their packaging and their social media team is killing it. All their reels and are just like so, so like on point and like kind of like funny. So I like that they're bringing that humor back into social media marketing. And I feel like that box is really nice to be able to gift to people are the ash double two-tone earrings i got them in the two-tone where it's um, plated gold on the top and rhodium on the bottom in the rope curved design i thought that these would be so cute to be able to like mix and match different metals i don't have much like white gold or silver but i do have some pieces but the rest of like my um ear piercings are gold and I wouldn't want to change out all of my different like cartilage piercings because I have quite a few so it's nice to have an earring that brings both of those metals together so that I can add my like white gold pieces or my silver pieces and have it be like a cohesive look. I would say with these ones um, if you don't like hearing like a little tinkle <laughs> in your ear as you're walking if you're like more sensitive to sounds then these will probably not be the earrings for you um i wouldn't say i'm like super sensitive to that but that is something i noticed right away so maybe i am a little highly sensitive but yeah it has just a little um tinkle because this piece is loose so you can even remove it so it's almost like you have a two cell earring because this little piece comes off and they're like a u-shaped lock so i didn't have any other jewelry earrings like this in my collection another piece that i recently purchased that i am obsessed with and i think everyone should go to the Anna Luisa site and pick this up is the aura watch strap bracelet the great thing about this is it looks like a watch like it's a watch chain but it has no watch piece on it and so you have like that look of a watch without needing to worry about the battery or changing time. Like I love my vintage watches, but I don't wear them enough where half of them aren't like already dead and need a new battery. So this gives you like that look in like a professional, cool, trendy, menswear inspired way without the um, timepiece part. So I really love that and it is adjustable just like a watch the different pieces and this is 14 karat gold over stainless steel so very like watch materials and I'm just obsessed with it. I think it looks so nice with a bunch of different styles of outfits. In my holiday video I reviewed this necklace here. It was called the Mish and the matching earrings. I love this necklace and earring set. So this was gifted to me and I don't think it's on the site anymore. They have a lot of these like huggy style hoops and I think that they are adding like different charms you can add. These ones are fixed in place, but I just, I love it. I feel like the matching necklace and earring set just looks, just looks so cute and it can make it look very dressy, but it also can look like very like casual. If you wanted a similar look, I did see that on the site, the Temple Green layering set is another one that's been on my wish list and I think would give you like the same kind of effect as this one. Um, also the May Moon necklace for some reason gives me like this kind of like pendant vibes. These are like a little huggy hoop with the adventuring stone. 
I'm just now layering up on all the jewelry. This was the rope gold ring. These were really big a few years ago and I still think that they're like a timeless type of piece. They're like very like almost like 80s inspired but because of that it makes it look like a vintage type look. Definitely think about what size you want to get, whether you want to wear it like on your index finger. This one barely fits on my index finger, but is a little loose on my ring finger. But I like that I can possibly kind of get away with wearing it on either. And I just think this adds to any outfit, whether you're wearing something fancy or just like running to the coffee shop. I tend to, from Ana Luisa, I buy a lot of their earrings. For some reason, like the earrings really speak to me. And so I have another pair of like little simple huggy hoops. Little chunky, like little tubey hoops. I also have a pair of their studs with like the checkerboard print. I tend to wear like just one of these. I have one second lobe hole. And so I tend to just wear one with my other hoops. These are so cute, little bars. And I think they have this same pattern in a hoop too. I also, oh, I was gifted this from my sister. We give each other different like Ana Luisa jewelry all the time. I think I've got her necklace. I've gotten friends necklaces. They make really great gifts. She got me this really cool safety pin. And so it has like a little CZ stud and then on the chain is the safety pin and you can actually put the safety pin as an earring through your ear so I would wear this like in this one ear like I said I have one second lobe piercing um, that I did in probably like seventh grade with this uh, thumbtack so don't recommend that but um, these look really cute together or it could be cute hanging down so they also do have like a lot of like, a lot of like different styles. Like I said, like more of the vintage look, more of like the trendy pieces. Though I feel like the safety pin in the ear is almost like a very like 2000s, even like 90s kind of grunge thing. So now it's kind of vintage. So I love that. And whenever I wear this earring, I'll do the two holes and then I'll move this little stud that I have over to my other ear. And it looks so cute. I think those are all my earrings. I have another necklace. This is the Anna Rose Gold Small Ball Chain. I think this is just such a great layering piece. I got this in like the rose gold because my engagement ring is rose gold. And so I wanted to have some rose gold jewelry. I have a few different rose gold pieces that I've collected over the years. And I thought this was just a great layering piece. This is a bit of a like more um, charcoal-y, like gray toned rose gold and not as like bright, um, but it's still like a really cute easy layering like shorter necklace piece. I also have a paper clip uh, bracelet. I saw that they have this now in their solid gold collection and I really want to pick that up because I whenever I put on bracelets other than like bigger ones I tend to like forget to take them off and so that can just lead to tarnishing a little faster if you're wearing in the shower and at yoga so I think a solid gold piece would be perfect in this but I just love all they have so many like simple layering pieces they can make like a cool bracelet stack or a necklace stack um, as well as like mixing it with some of their more like statement pieces so this is the little paper clip bracelet i just it's so cute i think this is not available on its own but is available in some of the bracelet layering sets which i think this is the perfect bracelet for layering Finally, the last piece I have for you all today in my collection is one of their solid gold pieces. So this is the floating diamond charm in the small circle and this is 10 karat gold. It's a lab grown diamond and then like a clear um, enamel to give it the floating pendant look. I loved just like the look of this and how it's floating and it just like looks so cute. I didn't purchase a chain for it. I have a few different gold chains that I wear it with. I have one that's like longer and has um, a longer, thinner one. They have a pair a lot with a um, like a paperclip chain. So I kind of want to get the, the solid gold paperclip chain. I want to get the bracelet and the necklace so that I can wear it higher because I think that'd be a cute layering piece. But I think wearing it on the longer chain also makes it more almost like a statement piece, even though it's so tiny and delicate. They have this in a few different shapes as well, but I just think this is 
such a cute little charm. So there you have it. That is my current collection of Ana Luisa jewelry. I'm sure I will be picking up more things. I just really appreciate their uh, materials for the price point. I feel like they're a great way to add some things in your collection that will stand the test of time, but also allow you to express yourself because they're not too pricey. It's like a very good balance. They have so many different styles. Right now they're having their anniversary sale. And I know in the holiday time they will have another sale as well. So you could be thinking about different gifts for people. I love giving Ana Luisa as presents to my friends and family. It's so great then because I always like then see my friend wearing the necklace I got her. I'm like, oh, okay, she really liked it. Um, and so it's a really great gift to give to someone and a gift to give yourself. And let me know if um, you have any favorite pieces from Anna Luisa that you recommend I check out. I would love to add more to my collection, especially now with the sale going on. And yeah, so I will see you next time. Bye.